Is the sun setting on our republic or is it rising? Well, technically on this Tuesday night in late February 2017, it's setting. But I wanted to title this video because my buddy had the idea to title it that. What? What Somalia is missing? Or what? What Somalia got wrong? And that's no bashing of Somalia. I wish Somalia does great. It's just that Somalia didn't ever get civilization down. And neither did the other seven countries or six countries that Trump is banning people from coming from because they don't have governments. They don't have states. They don't have real passports. They don't have real visas. Obama and others have banned those very same countries. But I just sit here thinking about the tremendous wealth where even blue collar workers can go on vacations a couple times a year, drive a nice vehicle, have air conditioning, have medical care, and then have a little fishing boat. You know, a lot of these boats here are you know, really fancy and nice, but most of them are owned by middle class and working class people. You don't see Cape Canaveral rocket launching bases in Somalia. Uh, you don't see CAT scans in Somalia. You don't see cancer treatments in Somalia. You don't see women walking around without hoods over their heads in Somalia or their genitals cut off by loppers at birth. You don't see dams built on rivers like Lake Travis in Somalia. You don't see jet airplanes flying up in the sky like that one way over there, probably 50 miles away in Somalia. But what you do see in Somalia is the antithesis of what the CIA-run feminists call for, and that is a patriarchal-run society completely by men, where if J-Lo, who's called for Somali refugees to be wide open to the U.S., she'd be kidnapped five minutes at the airport, maybe three minutes. I mean, they'd be guys with machine guns, probably the police at the airport, loading her in a rape van right away. And the media spins that because they're, they're false disinformation news that I want her to be raped. I don't want her to be raped. I want her to stop raping my mind and raping our culture and telling me we should accept people who are a billion and a half people worldwide, most of them, who live like psychotic cavemen from some alternate dimension. So what went wrong with Somalia? What went wrong with... Libya, what went wrong with all these countries? Islam, under the orthodox system of the Wahhabists, that's the Sunni religion, 80% of Islam, is running around like cancer through the body, and the leftists run up the white flag and say, we're going to put hijabs on in New York, or D.C., or Berlin, Germany. The videos are out every day. There's so many of them, I don't even cover them. They have record rapes in Sweden, record houses being burned down, cars being burned. It's like every night for weeks, and Trump this weekend says... You know, you saw what's happening right now in Sweden, and the media knows the public's not informed. They go, what? What happened in Sweden? Did you do something? And they make little jokes, and Colbert makes jokes, and all make jokes. And meanwhile, major cities in Sweden are on fire right now. And women are grabbed at like age 15 and put into Islamic sex slavery, which under Islam is okay if they're not Islamic women. But even if there are Islamic women, they can be raped, killed, tortured, burned to death, you name it, if they don't submit to it. So... I oppose globalism and communism because it's an oppressive, collectivist, centralized system. But why is Islam so allied with that? Well, because Orthodox Islam is a collectivist, centralized system as well. And I was against all those wars in Iraq and places because I saw those as secular governments that had been battling radical Islam. And that's why the globalists allowed radical Islam to attack us on 9-11 and the inside job so that we could be directed against civil wars actually to bring down secular countries like we've seen in Syria, like we've seen in Libya. That's the larger paradigm. But here's the good news. That whole program is coming to a big screech and halt and Obama and Hillary and John Kerry's program of that is falling. So that's the good news. I just want to encourage all of you. I know most of you are informed and I'm not talking to the folks who are informed. I'm talking to the prodigal sons who've not been rebels and rebels in their time. Uh, but who have been particular dumbasses. I want you to really understand that the social engineers like Zuckerberg that calls you a dumb effer and Schmidt and all the rest of them literally think you're idiots. And they're not flooding the West with five million Islamists in the last few years because they want to play tiddlywinks. They're bringing in totally incompatible groups 
so they can then call, because of the crises that are going to unfold, for a culture of censorship that's not an open Western inclusive civilization. And I'm not against the Muslims. You know, the higher caste, that's in their own words, Muslims, come here, doctors, lawyers, you name it, who want to actually get away from Islam, they're called heretics. They may still, for traditionalist reasons, support their family in Islam and God and the God of Abraham, and there's certainly connections there with Judaism and Christianity. I don't want to fight with Muslims. But the point is, is that they are brought here to be a destabilizing effect and to cause crises in our civilization, and that's a fact. And so when you see the sick vision, you know, of a bunch of women chanting Allah Akbar, putting the hijabs on their heads, it's nothing but cuckold Stockholm Syndrome BS. And these people have to be rejected fundamentally. Now, this is not even a hard thing to understand, but it's all just peer pressure. You're getting a worthless college degree. How do they screw you up mentally so you don't know you got screwed over with that degree? They teach you that, you know, you're about a chip on your shoulder because of white males or whatever. Meanwhile, all the big, smart white males that are part of the system are actually using race-based divide and conquer to control people. So again, answer my question for all of you that want to live in North Africa or the Middle East and think it's this wonderful thing. Why did modern slavery get invented by the Muslims? And why are so many black Muslims black Muslims? Why is ignorance at such a premium and why do so many dumbasses want to destroy the West that produced all this wealth and has the highest grade of availability for the general public to have success in this system. If you can sit around and bitch all day about, hey, somebody's got a big boat and I don't. But when you go to Somalia, they don't manufacture boats, they don't buy boats, they rob them out of the, out of the ocean, out of the Gulf, out of the out of the Indian Ocean. They don't produce anything. They can't even produce clothes in Somalia. They can't produce toilet paper. They wipe their asses with their left hand. And why does the West want to commit suicide and embrace this stuff? Because the globalists have stolen the future. They've stolen civilization. They want us so butthurt and so mentally ill and so self-loathing, we don't stand up and have our own self-preservation instincts and skills. And that's why this is happening. So again, why isn't there technology coming out of the Islamist countries? Why isn't it coming out of other areas? And why does everybody want to destroy the West when the West has had its technology hijacked not to empower the planet, but to bring in a corporate world government? Infowars has been massively censored today. We have Google, its proprietary uh, sub-company, uh, AdRoll, ban us after almost three years with them. We were set to make $5 million in 2017 off these ads that fund our operations. Sounds like a lot. It's not. 3.3 million last year, and they just banned us saying you're fake news. They just defined us as subhuman. No court, no proof, no nothing. And they said they want it for everybody. Well, you're next. Hey, don't worry. I will adapt. I will overcome. I will defeat this. But I understand that for the general public, it's meant to intimidate everybody and shut down free speech so they can win. That's why I want my 50-plus reporters and crew to raise more capital to go to the next level this year because they've already seen us kick their ass. They ignored us before. We had billions and billions of views on YouTube and Facebook and we're dominating. But now they realize that it's intellectually superior to them, so they want to shut it off. Well, good luck, assholes, at Facebook and Twitter and Google and AdRoll. Too little, too late. It's already in your blood system. You're politically dead already. Let's just accelerate this as fast as we can so these assholes can't politically have their way with us anymore. Because once they shut you off politically, they physically try to shut you off, and that's not going to happen. Their system is coming down, and no amount of, of Islamic that they bring in or any of it's going to put it back together again. I'm Alex Jones. This is the InfoWar. InfoWars.com forward slash show. They're trying to censor it, so spread that link everywhere. Nothing can, talk, can stop human action, human intelligence, human will against their algorithms and computers. Let's smash them politically. Hey, it's Somalia. What's going on over there? Did Somalia make that? Look at that guy. It's probably like just some local guy owns a restaurant or something. Pulling in with his family on his boat. Look at that. That's Somalia built that. Why are we bitching? All cultures are the same. Hell, the Aztecs sacrificed their children. You know, the Nazis had their culture. You know, I thought all cultures were the same. No, the Soviets were corrupt, but it's okay. All cultures are the same.
And everybody knows Twitter and Facebook and all that's a bunch of garbage. We have to build our own systems. What's Infowars.com? What's PrisonPlanet.tv? I get it, but let's use their systems now to wake as many people up as we can.